Hey everyone and welcome back to this TNL overview video. Today I want to talk to you about this new resource I've been developing over the summer of 2022 and that is a syllabus template that if you're a new faculty or even a returning faculty you can use to really um, cut some of that busy work and repetitive work reinventing the wheel if you're teaching a class for us. So the purpose of this template really is to give you all the important information you need for your syllabus that maybe you typically have to look online for or on the ltcc.edu website. So as an example of that, you might wonder what exactly is our land acknowledgement policy or what is the generic statement for the SAS, the Student Accessibility Services, that I can put in my syllabus. And I think one advantage of having a more official statement on here from the LTCC website or from particular offices on campus is you reduce some of that ambiguity and confusion that can happen. If everybody has a different accommodation statement on here, it gets confusing for our students, particularly if you don't have, say, the new name, which changed from the DRC to the SAS. Um, other examples of that could be ISP changing to LTCC Rising Scholars, which I hear will be RSP program. So it's important to have these so that we have consistency across campus. Now that being said, there are aspects of academic freedom and specific things that you may want in your class that differ from the next faculty member teaching. You know, if you have a lot that you deal with with safety, if you're teaching art or wilderness or culinary arts, and you have safety considerations, that's something you're probably going to have in your syllabus that maybe someone in the humanities or social science wouldn't. So the variation that happens with your syllabi makes it impossible to cover everything. And that's why this is called a template. And the concept is you would take this Word document, which I have here on the screen, and you'll go in, you'll customize things. And I think there are two main ways to customize. One is to go through, as you see here, any of the yellow text suggests that you should go in and change that to the appropriate um, text, string, number, information, paragraph, whatever that happens to be. And so I have that in yellow, and then you might also see four X's. So if you see that, you're going to go in and change that. The second type of alteration that you might make, I think, is deleting certain elements. Now this is kind of a bad example. I don't want you to delete the SAS paragraph, but as just um, an instance here, this document isn't fully complete. In fact, I'm finishing this up and this project is kind of working in tandem with the LTCC Canvas Student Suites, the policies and resources that really mimic or parallel what you're seeing here on the syllabus template. So keep that in mind and watch that other video that explains how to bring in the student suites into your classes and use those because those are also examples of good information that can supplement your syllabus. If you want, you can do one of these liquid or active syllabuses or syllabi that allows you to change things kind of on the fly and maybe it has opportunities for you to adjust um, aspects of your syllabus. So keep all of that in mind because I know there's a lot of variation that, that takes place. Now, if you're wondering where to find this, you're going to find this on the onboarding tab. So when you go to the new and improved, I think, ltccteachingandlearning.com website, you're going to see a lot of new stuff is, is going on here, and you can actually click on the website overview to see the changes. Click on this onboarding tab, which is the second one over after home. You're gonna scroll down here, and this is being developed with our new um, VP of Instruction, Ray Gamba, so getting a sense of what he might want in here and trying to adapt. But the basic idea is you're going to get information here for your classes, starting your classes from scratch. If you're brand new to LTCC, I think this resource is gonna be really helpful for you. So you know in the past we've had the syllabus resource. This is still good to look at. This has all the information from the workshop I did a couple years ago, background on the syllabus, and then all these useful links that tell you about like the important legal and contractual obligations in a syllabus. Now, I know we're really pushing for warm and open and inviting syllabus language, and that's something we can continue to develop. Again, you all have different ways of creating your classes. There's no way any of us, I certainly can't tell you the right and wrong syllabus to have, just some of the elements we can have in there. So I really encourage you to go in 
and make some adjustments and adjust the language as you see fit to make it warm or flexible or whatever it is that you do in your class. Impossible for me to tell you all obviously what to do in your own class. It would be absolutely impossible to do that. Keep in mind we have the old syllabus snippets. I will be revising these and adding information as I'm updating the syllabus template and the Canvas student suites. But if there's more information you want, I may not, for example, include the Carnegie unit distinction on the syllabus template. I may or may not. I have to see kind of which ones go, which ones will fit best and which ones won't. But if you ever want more information, you can always go to this online resource and add in aspects that maybe I've left out. If you want more about electronic devices or technical support, or if you want more about, um, I don't know, extra credit, you can just go in and again, cut and paste these. And it's very easy, just copy that. And then you'll just go to your syllabus or the syllabus template and paste that information there. So that's kind of how you get this from the teaching and learning website, download the template. You're just going to download this as a Word document, a .docx. If you have any problems with the format, let me know. I can um, convert it for you, whatever. Um, and you can, again, adapt this as much or as little as you want. You will need to adapt some aspects of this, but you can kind of go in and see what you need to change. So what I would recommend doing, there's a couple things you can do. If there's an X here and you want to find that text, you could go to your search bar, search for the four X's, and that's kind of why I do it. If I'm writing an article or chapter, I typically will have this just so I can quickly go in and do a find or a find and replace. So that's kind of easy. The other thing is I wanted to put in the highlighted text because I really don't want any of this information to slip through that isn't filled in because that would be confusing to students. For example, the idea behind the format here is you would choose one of these. If you're doing face to face, you would just take your mouse, delete right there, and then that would be, you know, the the course format of the class: distance education, um, ISP or RSP, etc. The term here, you would just go in and type like fall 2022, and then that is kind of good to go. You can put in your class units. There are four unit and five unit classes out there. I'm just um, uh, undoing this because obviously we're going to uh, need this as a template. The course number, if I'm teaching Anthro 102, I could put Anthro 102 and then here type in Cultural Anthropology. Again, I'm going to un undo that. So if you see something like this, the class welcome, the idea is you could say, you know, welcome to Cultural Anthropology, this journey in Anthro 102. To get started, this is where you're going to go in and customize and say, Here's what I want you to do. And the reason this has to be left open-ended is if you're doing a face-to-face -face versus a DE versus an RSP or a hybrid class or an E class, all those different modalities, the way you start the class is going to vary. You know, you might say to get started, we'll meet on the first day of class, which is Monday at 6 p.m. And then kind of students take it from there. So again, the open-ended stuff is really intended for you to go in and change and alter as you see fit. So name, you could just put in your name. By the way, if you have an old syllabus from a class you taught at WNC or Sierra Nevada University, now the University of Nevada at Tahoe, um, what, could you, what you could do is open up the two Word documents side by side. You could you know, do these if you have two screens, one on one screen, one on the other, and then you could just cut and paste from your old syllabus to the new version here and then resave that. If you want, you could save this template on your computer and always have that handy. It'll always be updated and available for you to download on the teaching and learning website. For the course description and objectives and SLOs and textbook, again, you're going to fill that in. And if you don't have any of that information, you can reach out. I know when we hire a new curriculum specialist, um, replacing Justin, who has moved on, I know I'm going to personally miss Justin, so thank you for all your work, Justin, that you've done for us. Um, I would say that the new person would be able to get you the course objectives or SLOs. If you're teaching in a department that has a full-time department faculty lead, they could also get these for you. They're also available on the website and to some degree in the catalog, but there's some variation of that. So if you're stuck on this, reach out and I can help you find all this information from our curriculum system through what's called eLumen. So a lot of this stuff here is very easy to find, but if you if you can't figure that out, just, just reach out. Again, grading policies and so forth, you're gonna have to go in and alter this based on your points and percentages that you have. But the main idea here is you don't have to reinvent the wheel for things that are the same for every single student across the board. So again, I worked with Kelly over the summer to get the SAS statement and to put that in the student suites and also the template so that's available for you. What I'm going to do here 
as I'm adapting this still this week, is I'll have course and LTCC policies up here, student resources here, course schedule, etc., and kind of have these main headings. You can go in and adapt this. I may throw a logo up here as well. You can adapt it as you see fit. You can go in and change the font to anything you want. You can change the typeface, the, the size of it, whatever you want to do. You can go in and put in various section headers, change those. Again, this is just bare bones, really just one font and saying, here you go, use it as you see fit. As I said earlier, what I recommend is if you find policies in here, and these will not have the yellow highlighting on them, but if you find those policies and you want them, just leave them in your syllabus. If you want to delete them, just go in and delete. Again, bad example, do not delete SAS accommodations. But I'm going to have more on here shortly. You're going to see all the various things available for you. Now, one other thing let me mention here is if you're wondering this highlighted text, again, this is to really show you this is absolutely something you should change. Uh, what you could do is once you've made all those changes and if these are still highlighted in yellow depending on how you're working with this you're just going to go in go to the top tab here this is going to vary with your version of word or if you're using pages or something it's going to look different but you would just click on no color and then all of a sudden that goes away again i'm undoing this to keep that in there so that's super easy to do if you have questions about this let me know you can always resave this file as a rich text file which will take out all the formatting etc so a lot of opportunities there for you to go in and make some alterations as you see fit so that is the syllabus template i'm introducing here in the summer and then fall of 2022 if you have any questions definitely reach out i will continue to update this resource for you if you have suggestions additions or ideas for this i'm always available come down my office here at b101a and we can talk about them or shoot me an email i'd be happy to meet with you over zoom to discuss the value value here of a syllabus template. So thanks for listening. I'll be back with more TNL videos in the future.